One of the things I had, I would stare at early in the morning is uh, overnight ratings would come out of the fax machine in my home office, 6 a.m. And you look at the overnight ratings and you go, ah, well, they either rejected us or some nights they loved us. Uh, and um, it was a snapshot from America of how well you did the night before. And I remember staring at, at those overnight ratings in a dozen markets, New York, LA, Chicago, Houston, San Francisco, uh, Philly, Phoenix, and, and thinking about that time in your life where you're a young adult and having to start out in the world and what, the, what it cost to live and, and find your path in, in those markets. As I'm staring at those numbers, trying to make each one of those markets come alive in my mind. And I thought, I articulated to our comedy development team, what, what's it like starting out and in these places? And what's it like without having mom and dad around? Um, all those firsts. And we, we all agreed that that was an interesting development goal. And we developed a number of scripts to that goal. Um, and boy, did we develop some bad stuff. These scripts were absolutely terrible. Um, and most of them ended up uh, being tossed aside. Finally, having had that goal for a little while, um, Marta Kaufman and David Crane had their life experience, their years together in New York um, as really good friends, as starting out, as writers, as young adults in that city. And they presented um, their vision of what that time was about. And their pitch was wonderful, so funny and so relatable. And it kind of for us went ding. Yeah, this is the idea we've been talking about. Uh, Les Moonves, who was running Warner Brothers Television at the time, said, if you want it, you got to make a pilot commitment. We said, we want it. We love their vision. You got it. Um, and that pilot commitment meant if we didn't go forward, it would probably be a you know, significant penalty. But it was a wonderful script. And the moment we read that script, we said, we're in fresh territory. This is great young adult television. They nailed it. Um, and there was a clarion call for young acting talent throughout the industry going, how do I get an audition for this? Um, and it was something that we just felt we're in territory that, for some weird reason, it's not on television. That time in young people's lives just wasn't on the air. Um, and uh, they were able to capture it. When did you first know that it was going to be just a pop cultural phenomenon? Um, the research was just OK. It wasn't great. Jimmy Burroughs directed the pilot brilliantly. And I would say six or eight episodes in, these scripts were, were brilliant, funny soap operas. And they were so Seinfeld um, outrageously went for funny. Friends? went for, we're going to grab your heart, and we're going to make you laugh. Um, uh, actually, a little closer sensibility-wise to Mad About You, um, but not examining marriage, examining an earlier phase in a young adult life. And we were really, really excited where that show was headed. We loved the material. And we looked at that cast and we said, something's happening here. But it was a slow build. Um, but I would say by Christmas time of that first year, 
it was humming, and we felt, okay, we're really in, in the zone here. And then by the time we hit summer repeats, uh, the Rembrandt's title song was a hit, hit pop song, um, and it surged in the repeats in the summer, and uh, that's it. We never looked back. Hit show for a decade.